Homestead with Jess. Today we're going to can some chicken up. So follow along with me and I'll show you how. Now I have a friend that requested me to show her how to can chicken. And to be honest, I was really nervous and scared to can meat when I first started, but now it's one of my favorite things to can. It's so easy and simple. So I went ahead and took a bunch of drumsticks out of the freezer last night, thawed those out, and I've got two whole chickens that I took out. I'm just trying to clear out my freezer space. It's so full and with everything getting harvest out of the garden, I need the freezer space. So I'll be working on canning chicken and making chicken stock. So in my pan here, I've got carrots. I've got about a dozen carrots. I just throw them in the bottom of this pan. The chicken here um, is thawed out and in the bottom of the pan. And I am just going to salt and pepper them real quick. Just the outsides. And I have, I don't have any fresh garlic right now, so I'm using minced garlic. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon per chicken. I'll just throw that inside. roaster I'm going to add a jar of my homemade onion broth pour it all in there then I'm going to throw this in the oven at 350 degrees it's already preheated and this will cook about two hours we don't want it done done. We want it mostly done, but we don't want it done as if we were going to eat it because we're going to can it. So we'll check on that in about an hour and a half. Let's get started on the drumsticks. In my canner, my pressure canner, I've got quart sized jars and some of them are wide mouth, some of them are regular mouth. And I've got a teaspoon of salt per jar. Doesn't matter whether they're wide mouth or regular mouth. I've got my drumsticks. I'm going to start putting in. And then I alternate each time I put one in. continue filling my jars and I'll bring you back when I'm done. I've got all seven of my jars filled with my chicken with the drumsticks. So I'm just going to make sure they're really clean. Wipe the rims off with some white vinegar. All right. 
right. and we are going to can this for 90 minutes. I'll bring you back when it's done and I'm pulling out the jars. Can you lift the canner onto the stove please? One second. All right everyone we got 11 quarts of the chicken drums. Thank you for following along with Keto Homestead with Jess. I hope this video helps you and I hope to see you soon.